Welcome back to another exciting episode of Barking Well. In today's episode we are going to talk about Indian dance forms. India witnesses a diverse and varied culture. Adorned by endless varieties of cultural patterns, the landscape of India is beautified, with lovely traditions. Different states have different languages, eating habits, customs, religion. Like all other aspects of life, the dances of different states in India are also distinct. The uniqueness of dances of India binds the entire country together. Going back to ancient times, this art form was considered as a way to celebrate, worshipping and as a gesture of thanksgiving to the deity. Dances of India reflect its cultural richness. In this video, we explore the different dance forms of India with states. So let's start with number 1. Bharat Natyam. Bharat Natyam is considered to the oldest form of dance and mother of all other style of classical dance in India. The classical Indian dance, Bharat Natyam originated from the art of temple dancers in the South India, state of Tamil Nadu. It is reworked form of dance, from the traditional satyr and combination of expression, music, beat and dance. Bharat Natyam also known as the fire dance is one of the most popular styles of dance performed by male and female dancers. Number 2. Kapwa Kali. Kapwa Kali is one of the most attracting classical Indian dance drama, performed by well-trained artists. Kapwa Kali is originated in God's own country Kerala, in 17th century and got popular at every corner of India. The attractive makeup. Detailed gestures and elaborate costumes of the characters along with body movements with playback music are best experienced to watch. It draws inspiration from the Ramayana and stories from Shaiva traditions. Kathakali is traditionally performed by boys and men, even for female roles. The costumes and makeup are especially elaborate, with faces made to look like painted masks and enormous headdresses. Number 3. Kathak. Kathak is originated from Uttar Pradesh and one of the eight forms of ancient classical dances of India. Famous Kathak dance is derived from Katha, or storytellers, people who narrate stories during the whole art of Kathak dance. Kathak is often a dance of love. It is performed by both men and women. The movements include intricate footwork, accented by bells worn around the ankles and stylized gestures, adapted from normal body language. It was originated by Katha Kass, professional storytellers, who used a mixture of dance, song, and drama. Like other Indian dances, it began as a temple dance, but soon moved into the courts of ruling houses. Number 4. Manipuri. Manipuri comes from Manipuri, in northeastern India. It has its roots in that state's folk traditions and rituals, and often depicts scenes from the life of the god Krishna. Unlike some of the other, more rhythmic dances, Manipuri is characterized by smooth and graceful movements. Female roles are especially fluid in the arms and hands, while male roles tend to have more forceful movements. The dance may be accompanied by narrative chanting and choral singing. Number 5. Kachipudi. Kachipudi the classical Indian dance form, originated in Andhra Pradesh state, and got its name from Kachipudi village, near the Bay of Bengal. Kachipudi is the most popular traditional dance form, in South India performed with violin, flute and the tambura instruments and characters first introduces themselves by the Daravu. Unlike the other styles mentioned, Kachipudi requires talent in both dancing and singing. Traditionally the dance was performed by men, even the female roles, although now it is predominantly performed by women. Number 6. Odissi. Odissi is indigenous to Orissa in eastern India. It is predominantly a dance for women, with postures that replicate those found in temple sculptures. Based on archaeological findings, Odissi is believed to be the oldest of the surviving Indian classical dances. Odyssey is a very complex and expressive dance, with over 50 symbolic hand gestures commonly used. Number 7. The Gaudi Nritya. 
The Gaudi Anritya, is a classical Bengali dance form, performed with drama, history, poetry, color and music. It's an ancient classical dance form originated in West Bengal, it's mainly a temple art meant for spiritual expression. Number 8. Mohiniyattam. Mohiniyattam is another classical dance style, from Kerala state, and one of the eight principal Indian classical dance. Mohiniyattam dance gets its name from the word Mohini a mythical and chintious avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu, who helps the good prevail over evil by deploying her feminine powers. The Mohiniyattam is a popular dance form with a drama and dance, performed with subtle gestures and footwork. Number 9. Satriya. Satriya is a classical dance drama performance art, with origins in the Krishna-centered Vaishnavism monasteries of Assam, and attributed to the 15th century Bhakti movement scholar and saint names from Manta Shankar Deyu. One act plays of Satriya are called Anki and Nat, which combine the aesthetic and the religious through ballad, dance and drama. The themes played relate to Krishna and Radha, sometimes other Vishnu avatars such as Rama and Sita. Number 10. Folk and Tribal Dance Forms Folk dances and plays in India retain significance in rural areas as the expression of the daily work and rituals of village communities. India has numerous folk dances. Every state has its own folk dance forms like Pangra Amgita in Punjab, Dachshinagma in Jammu and Kashmir, Garba and Dandia in Gujarat. Lani, and Lazim, and Kali dance are among the most popular dances of Maharashtra. Some traditions of the Indian classical dance are practiced in the whole Indian subcontinent, including Pakistan and Bangladesh, with which India shares several other cultural traits. Indian mythologies play a significant part in dance forms of countries in Southeast Asia, an example being the performances based on Ramayana and Javanese dances. So what do you think of all these beautiful dance culture of India? Would you like to learn one of these forms? Let us know in the comment section, watch our other videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for sticking around.